Uh, okay, some of you might remember the RDWC from uh, previous videos. Uh, it didn't go so well. In fact, it was a complete disaster. If you haven't seen those, uh, there's playlists in the description. Um, it went really badly wrong. We have not touched this since we grew in it last time. And as you can see, the accumulated salts and minerals on the buckets are really, really bad. We are gonna set this back up today and um, try and do something about that. Hello, welcome back to The Grow Zone. My name's Ian. Today we're gonna rebuild this RDWC system from Grow Real Hydroponics, and we are going to flash clean it. This has worked for us in our DWC system. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out in the description below. We are going to clean these guys up. Okay, so we have assembled our RDWC, as you can see from the time lapse that we may or may not use. It was quite <laughs> difficult. Um, it's very, very tight. Uh, the pipes going through the grommets in these Grow Rilla hydroponic systems, which is really good because you don't want them to leak. Um, we've assembled everything and we've got our different components laid out here. Air stones, which are grubby and got all sorts of bits and pieces on them. But our four net pots and our lids, which we will probably just give a scrub afterwards. What we're gonna do is fill this back to full capacity so we get above this water line where you can see the deposits are um, from the previous grow. We're gonna add our flash clean as per recommended amounts. And we're gonna leave this system to recirculate away and clean itself for yeah, a little while. Let's get some water in. It is in heaven. Yeah. Yep. Okay, this is the last watering can we're gonna do, and it's gonna bring it up to 75 liters. The capacity is actually a little bit less, but we want to go to the water level and above. And we'll let that settle for a minute. We are now going to add our different components that we want to have cleaned. We'll put the four net pots in one bucket. Um, our air stones, uh, the fourth one is somewhere in another bucket. We'll pop our heat probe in, because why not? In another bucket, um, we'll turn the pump on and we'll add our flash clean, three milliliters per liter. Goodbye. Okay, so we've got our bits and pieces in the separate buckets. Um, we've calculated three millilitres per litre of flash clean. So that's 225 millilitres. Um, yeah, let's get it in. Okay. Okay, so it's been six days since we filled this RDWC and added flash clean. Uh, we've got our net pots and our air stones and whatnot floating around in the system. It's been recirculating. I came in three days after we added the flash clean and wiped around the top of the water line. Um, some of those bits and pieces have dried again and it was really thick residue and it hasn't been submerged. So those have dried and are still bit salty and minerally but so the stuff that's been submerged in the water um, is coming out clean we're still gonna have to give them a good scrub we'll give them all a wipe down um, and then uh, drain this water out and I, I think it's done its job just looking at the murkiness of the water we'll try and overlay some footage of that of the surface residue that's come uh, that's in the water now uh, it was clean when we put it in here and now it's not so it's done something which is great so we've uh, given everything a good wipe down um, and we're just going to lay it out here. We've got our little thermometer, we've got our air stones. Oh yeah, we lost an air stone mid-disaster breakdown video. Check out the playlist if you haven't seen those. We're going to let these air dry um, just here. We're going to empty the system from Flash Clean and give it one last rinse with clean water and then it's ready for our next grow. 
Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah.